This is UCLA Newsweek. In this lovely summer edition, smart power, fighting melanoma, building mobile apps, and teens and junk food. More and more electric vehicles are hitting the market in the U.S., but will our power grid be able to handle them? Engineering professor Rajid Ghad and his research team at the Smart Grid Energy Research Center have unveiled new wireless and sensor-based technologies aimed at dealing with the potential challenges. Their advances include software that has the ability to intelligently balance power demands of electric vehicles with the grid supply. Drugs that target mutated genes that drive cancer growth have shown great success, but many patients eventually become resistant to the therapy. Now, UCLA cancer specialists studying a type of melanoma have discovered that various combinations of small molecules may help shut down that resistance, closing off pathways the cancer uses to escape the drugs and killing the cancer cells before they find a way out. Want to give underrepresented high school students a leg up in high tech? UCLA has an app for that. As part of a special program for high schoolers and undergrads, UCLA Center for Embedded Network Sensing provides students with the opportunity to develop their own cell phone-based apps based on participatory sensing, which relies on volunteers who use mobile phones and other web-based technologies to collect and share data about the world around them. Nearly three quarters of California teenagers live or go to school in neighborhoods that are packed with fast food restaurants and junk food stores that offer almost no health food options, according to a new study from the UCLA Center for Health Policy Research. Researchers found that teens in more unhealthy neighborhoods were more likely to drink a soda every day and eat fast food at least twice a week, habits that have been linked to obesity and diabetes. For more on these and other stories, please visit newsroom.ucla.edu and follow the Twitterations at UCLA Broadcast.